All right, guys, so now I'm going to go over my tangent and cotangent graphs. Um, I just wanted to go back and say I know that these looked very, like, sharp before, but I wanted to show you that they are actually curved and waves um, and definitely not more triangular. They're more, like, curvy. Um, I think it's just the way it looked because I was just trying to connect the points better, um, but just clarification. They will look a lot wavier. Um, all right, so let's move on to tangent and cotangent. I'm going to do these together because they are basically reciprocals of each other and they're going to be very similar. Um, I went ahead and labeled my measures here um, according to this graph, which has a lot more smaller measurements um, rather than sine and cosine. Um, so these go up by fours, these go up by halves. So we're going to start at zero for tangent, which is going to be zero. And remember, when we're calculating tangent, it is y over x. So that's why for zero, it would be zero over one, which is why it's just zero. For pi over four, you would have square root of two over two over the square root of two over two, which would give us just one. Pi over two would be one over zero, which is undefined. And I'm going to show you what it means every time it's undefined. Um, 3 pi over 4 gives us um, the positive square root of 2 over 2 over the negative square root of 2 over 2, so that's going to give us a negative 1. And then for pi, we'll have 0 over negative 1, which is just 0. 5 pi over 4, you can kind of see where we're going with that. That's going to be a positive 1. Um, and then 3 pi over 2 is going to be negative 1 over 0, which again is undefined. And so um, you'll see how it repeats throughout the graph. So we have a point at 0, 0. And then at pi over 4, we have 1. Um, <clears throat> oh, pi over 2. So every time it's undefined, that means it doesn't exist. That means it's an asymptote. So there will never be a part of this graph touching pi over 2. 3 pi over 4 is negative 1, pi is 0, 5 pi over 4 is positive 1, 3 pi over 2, another undefined. And so as you can see, every time we have um, a half, it's going to be an asymptote. So I can go ahead and tell you that um, negative pi over 2 is also going to be where an asymptote is. And negative 3 pi over 2, another asymptote. Because it's going to look the same all the way across. It kind of just creates a pattern. And that means I can also tell you that negative pi over 4 will be at negative 1. And then we can look the same thing here. We have negative pi. It's going to be the same as pi. Negative 3 pi over 4 will be positive 1. Negative 5 pi over 4, negative 1. So they begin to look like this. It's just going to be a repeating tiny little graph. Because of the asymptotes, they get in the way. So they have to basically start over and recreate the same thing every time. All right, so this is what tangent is going to look like. Um, Let's talk about the domain. The domain is basically going to include everything except every time it touches a um, an increment of pi over 2. So x does not equal pi over 2 plus however many pi's. And k is just like a constant. So every time it's any kind of whole number plus a half, it's going to be an asymptote. And this is the way, fancy way of just saying every time it's like a number over two, it's going to be um, an asymptote. So there's not going to be any x values there. The range. Range is still going to be oops, negative infinity into infinity because in each little section, it still covers, I mean, it still is continuous. So it's going to keep going up and down. Um, so all y values are accepted there. And again, all the asymptotes is going to be exactly where the domain is. So all factors of pi over 2 at any point on the graph. 
All right, so let's look at cotangent. Cotangent's going to be pretty well the same, except kind of the opposite. So we're going to do the same thing. We've got 0 pi over 4 pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. All right, so at 0, <clears throat> now we are for cotangent. It's basically the x value over the y value rather than y over x. So at 0, it's 1 over 0, which is undefined. And you can already guess what that means. There's going to be asymptotes. Um, pi over 4 is going to give us x over y is going to be 1. Square root of 2 over 2 over the square root of 2 over 2. We have pi over 2, which is going to be 0 over 1, which is 0. Then we have negative 1. Pi is going to be negative 1 over 0, which is undefined. 5 pi over 4 is going to give us 1. And then 3 pi over 2. Oh, just making sure. All right, um, 3 pi over 2 is going to give us 0. So now I will graph. We already know we're going to have an undefined here, so it's not going to touch the y-axis at all. At pi over 4, we have 1. Pi over 2, we have 0. 3 pi over 4, we've got negative 1. And then at every increment of pi, we will have an asymptote. And it will continue from here. We've got 1, 0, negative 1. Same thing over here. Even if it's negative, pi is still going to be an asymptote. And negative 2 pi, same thing. And again, these will be repeating. All right, and as you can see, they are the exact, pretty much opposites of each other. All right, now the domain here is gonna be not including any of the increments of pi. And we're gonna put a constant because that constant could be one pi, which is pi, or a negative one, which is negative pi. Constant could be two, which is two pi, or negative two, negative two pi, pi, anything, five pi, a hundred pi, there will always be an asymptote there. And then range is going to include all numbers again. All right, um, spe special features is again going to be asymptotes. And I forgot to include the even and odd functions. So I'm gonna go back and add that to tangent as well as add it to cotangent as well. So asymptotes are going to be just where the domain is. It's going to be all x values where pi and a constant. All right. Um, cotangent is going to be an odd function because you can rotate it around the origin and it will um, be symmetrical. It is not something that you can flip over and it will still be the same. And then back to tangent here, again, will be odd because you can rotate it around the origin. All right, and that is tangent and cotangent.